Hello and welcome to another Dudley Lodge video. Today in our Bicycle Care series we're going to be showing you how to do a top and tile on a bi -bee. We'll be showing you everything that you need in order to do one and then taking you through each step along the way. So to start off we've got our top and tile bowl here which is a bowl that has two different sections and then a panel down the middle and we're going to fill it with warm water on each side so that we've got one bowl section that is for the face and one that's for the body and then the strip down the middle is where we can put our cotton buds after we've used them. So we're then going to test the temperature of the water using our elbow to make sure that it's not too hot and not too cold and that it's ready for us to use. So then we've got baby wash, baby shampoo, a towel and some cotton buds all close to the baby so that we've not got to leave it at any time and that it's there for us to use when we need it and we've got the baby on a changing mat on the floor so that there's no risk of them falling off anything but so that they're comfortable as well. So then we're going to take our cotton bud making sure that we use the one side of the top and tail bowl that's for the face. We're going to dip it in and make sure that it's not too wet rinsing it out. We're then going to wipe the baby's face and make sure that we clean all the surface area of its face and then when we're cleaning its eyes we're going to make sure and then we're going to wipe from the inside of the eye outwards making sure that we don't go back in. We also want to make sure that we're cleaning behind the ears and underneath their chin as obviously when we're feeding them sometimes milk can get under here um, so it's really important that we make sure that that's clean. Remember to always keep changing your cotton buds and to not keep going back in with the same one as obviously we're trying to make sure that they're as clean as possible and in order to do this we want to make sure that we're using a fresh cotton bud each time that we clean a different area of the baby. So we're then just going to dry the baby making sure that every area that we've cleaned is all dry and we're not leaving it damp and it's really important that while you're doing this and kind of while you're washing the baby to keep interacting with it, talking to it, reassuring it so that it's comfortable and happy and it allows you and helps you to bond with your baby too. You also want to make sure that when you're drying the baby that you're using kind of soft gentle patting motions to dry them. Uh, we don't want to be too rough and kind of want to be as gentle and delicate as possible. So we're now going to do kind of a full body wash of the baby using the top and tail. So you want to make sure that you're using a different side of the bowl now um, and going on to the body side of the bowl. Again, you want to make sure that you keep changing the cotton bud as you go through different body parts, but you want to make sure that you're cleaning kind of underneath their armpits, in kind of the creases of their arms, in their legs and their feet and just their general body area. You also want to make sure that you're drying the baby as you go through so after each body part that you've washed that you make sure you dry it so the baby's not sitting cold and wet as you kind of finish the rest of their body. So now because we normally do a top and tail in the morning after the baby's woken up we're going to change its nappy, clean it and then put on a new one. So we're then going to take off the soiled nappy and pop it into a nappy sack and we're going to take a cotton wool bud and make sure we wet it and then wipe the baby's area making sure that if it's a girl we're wiping front to back and making sure to clean in between the crevices of their legs so that they're nice and clean all over. You also want to make sure that if it is that you're cleaning a newborn baby that you're making sure you stay away from its belly button. Obviously this is normally kind of healing and can be a bit cracked and crusty and you want to make sure that we're not getting it wet and allowing it time to heal. Again, you want to be making sure that you use a fresh cotton bud each time that you wipe and that you're not dipping into the water with the same cotton bud that you've just used. So once we've washed and dried the baby, we're then going to pop on a fresh nappy and then once we've done that, we're also going to pop on some fresh clothes so they're ready for the day. So there we go guys, that is our top and tail video of our basic care series. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please drop them in the question box below and we will make sure that we answer them. Uh, we will also leave a link in the description box to a whole written version on our website. And we really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.